So that's, that's, yeah. that was going to be my second question yeah. that let's now think of ourselves mm. as MOOC learners. As in learners, learners who are enrolled in a MOOC. Who are enrolled yeah. in a MOOC. Yeah. 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 What are our expectations? What comes to mind when you think of yourself as a learner in a MOOC? Yeah. First time or? First time or any time. Yeah. First time or any time. So uh, I, I'm just trying because that is what we expect the focus yeah. question discussion so I, to be yeah, about. I, uh, so I can talk about my course. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so uh, my learners have repeatedly. No, no. Uh, are you talking as an instructor or as a yeah, learner? As a, as a learner. As a learner. As a you learner. are the learner. Yes, yeah, I am a learner. And what are, what is your understanding so my, of a book and what is your expectation? And the foremost interest, especially in learning animation, mm. is a structured uh, delivery mm. of content, okay. of information. Ah. Uh, in bits and pieces of various parts of animation are available right and uh, I am the one who has to curate it correct and I get a dead end after a point that mm. if I, I learn I so somebody has done the curation uh, for you somebody does the curation right. for me and tells me a cohesive story correct is what I am looking mm. for because two reasons one it is not available second it is very expensive right if I go to a face to face okay. in right. a class yeah. of animation right. course yeah. it right. is very expensive mm. and there is no guarantee mm. that I will still be satisfied with that story mm -hmm. so yeah as a learner as a pure learner my mm -hmm. expectation or rather the, the reason MOOCs are attractive mm. is the access mm. to the variety of knowledge mm. 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 because especially when the platform edX or whoever curates not just at a single course level but assembles all courses in art history education science and all yeah. It for me, actually, it is the flexibility part of it, mm -hmm. you know, where you can you can do it at your own pace, you ah. can look at it, you have a week to actually look at the yes. content and do the assignment. Mm -hmm. That is the most attractive part. And also that the fact that there are courses on topics which I would normally not get access to. Ah. You know, so so that flexibility in timing and flexibility in choice, choice. of courses. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so I've gone... Pin to MOOC platform as a learner from two perspectives, I mean from two, uh, with two goals in mind. Most of the times it's like, I know here are, these are some experts in the field and I'm also working in that field. So I want to hear what they will have to say about. So that's when I go, I just browse, I explore. I don't have a hmm. specific goal in mind. It's mostly browsing and exploration. Something has caught my interest. Hmm. I look at it. I may not complete a course then, but hmm. I, if it's interesting enough, I do it. Hmm. There was only once where I had to quickly educate myself on usability. Mm. I didn't I didn't know much about it, but all my students, ha I had to give them advice on usability. So I said, okay, I need to pick up this knowledge. Mm -hmm. So I went and looked at who is teaching a course on usability, not who is, but I wanted what a course on courses? usability now. Mm. Okay. I found one by, I think, University of Michigan or something. It didn't matter who taught it, but it's, the topics seemed topics. relevant. I enrolled and I did it. Mm. Uh, so I like the idea of flexibility and I like the idea of access to different knowledge pieces which I am not, uh, I do not have. But for me what works in a MOOC is more of talking with other people who are taking that course. Mm -hmm. I mean see each of them are coming from a different context and they apply the same knowledge in various ways and those pieces of knowledge so for example so I took a, uh, another course on technology, different technology tools for uh, blended learning. Mm. That was where I got a list of tools that several people use mm. for the same purpose. I mean, those are the kind of information that I generally look for in a course when it so, is offered in the MOOC. So it is combination of choice and curation. Mm. So yeah, choice, curation and interaction. interaction. For him it is interaction, right? Yeah. 